Hey everybody, this is Donnie. Um, I'm sending out this social cam, uh, a little disgruntled, um, but more than anything else, to rectify something that's been done and address it so this way uh, uh, you'll know my heart. <clears throat> uh, the mayor of D.C., um, <clears throat> I think his name is Mayor Gray, uh, <clears throat> uninvited me for, from a concert that I was supposed to headline today in the Washington Mall, uh, commemorating and commencing the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement. Um, I was asked not to attend, although I'm considered the headliner of the concert, and, and advertisements have been circulated, and the churches as well as the community are prepared to come out by the tens of thousands into the Washington Mall area. And, um, uh, last night on the way to the airport, we received a telephone call from uh, the promoters who had received word from the mayor's office, uh, Mayor Gray's office, as well as the Arts Commission, that I was not welcomed and uninvited uh, the, day, the night before the concert. Quite unfortunate, you know, um, that in today, that uh, a black man, a black artist uh, is uninvited from a civil rights movement uh, depicting the love, the unity, the peace, the tolerance. It was, uh, the platform was entitled From Gandhi to King, the peace movement, the love movement. And dignitaries from India, ambassadors from India, as well as ambassadors from America and the, the church community the peaceful elements of the community were coming together to c commence and commemorate this wonderful move and evolution. And they waited until the last moment to, uh, to uh, demand that I'm taken off of the concert. <clears throat> Discrimination, um, bullying is still uh, a part of this. It, it's bullying, it's discrimination, it's intolerance, and it is depriving someone of their civil rights when they're told that they cannot come to an event, and by coming, it would cause a disruption. Yet they haven't spoken to those 15 to 20 people who protested. 15 to 20 people compared to thousands, on top, top of thousands, who are coming out to worship Jesus and to hear the gospel and music. The promoters had the greatest integrity and they fought very hard for this to continue on, but the mayor's office systematically and continuously shut it down on yesterday. <clears throat> um, they, the, the promoters went to pastors throughout the D.C. area and the pastors called the mayor's office. He refused to concede. They offered to make it something that would be uh, at their expense and not the city's, and they still refused. Um, this, I get, again, is unfortunate. Uh, it is intolerant. It is, it is, these are bully tactics simply because of stances that I took, um, never ever demeaning, never ever derogatorily addressing any, any lifestyle. But, um, uh, this is a civil rights infringement situation. And imagine that in the 21st century, 2013, I, a black man, asked not to attend an affair because of politics. You know, it's a shame. But to every one of you that were expecting me to come, they sent out a press release saying that through mutual agreement, uh, I withdrew from this concert. That, could be fur that couldn't be close to the truth. It's the furthest from the truth that there is. There's never been a conversation or mutual agreement for me to pull back where I would have been. We did have a conversation last night for about 35 minutes uh, with the mayor's office, Chris Murphy from the mayor's office, trying to convince me that uh, although this is wrong for them to do, uh, it would be in my best interest not to come so this way I wouldn't suffer from the fallout and from the social media and from the media per se 
vilifying me and drug, and he said, I wouldn't want them to bring up stuff from the past. In other words, threaten me that that's what's going to happen should I do so. Um, but I've been in this fight before. There's not too much threat you can make me uh, that would cause me to fear any man, fear any situation. Um, but for the sake of peace, uh, I, 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 well, I don't even know. If, I, I haven't decided whether I'm coming or not, but they have taken me off of the concert. I just wanted those who are coming expecting me to know this. It was the mayor's office and it was the arts commission. The promoters are most integral, most integral. The, the pastors in the community, a lot of them tried to call, but their voices were ignored as this was um, the will of the mayor and a few po protesters. So please forgive uh, my absence, if indeed I am absent. But um, there will be, there will be further dealings with this, and I cannot let this go undone. Pray for me as I go further in rectifying the situation, and try to make sure that this does not happen to anyone else. There should be always freedom of speech, as long as it's done in love, and as long as it's done peaceably. But for others to believe in politics that they can punish someone for having the freedom of speech in love, well, that kind of intolerance and that kind of bias, par, uh, uh, that kind of action should go, should be taken to another level. What do you think? You all pray for me, okay? God bless you, DC. I love you all. And I'll see you on better terms without this kind of, you know, sorry to have to tell you this. Bye-bye.